actually unwitting victims of the remote neural monitoring programs, which is basically body hacking, human non-lethal weapons testing, and data collection that is subsequently input into behavior modification programs with the final goal of perfecting means and methods of gaining control and predictability over all human behavior. That behavior control starts with learning how to control the unwitting and involuntary victims that I call white ties, meaning victims of involuntary technology interface, which in my opinion describes exactly what we victims face every day. Every statement I make today is backed up by sources, solid sources. These are not assertions. What we're giving you are facts and conclusions based on solid intelligence. Then there are outright lies. What I'm saying is that the director of national intelligence in March did directly lie to Congress, which is against the law. He said that they were not collecting any data on American citizens. You're talking about James Clapper. And it, tur and it turns out they're collecting billions of data on phone calls every day. So it was a lie. What I'm saying is that by lying to Congress, which is against the law, he severely damaged the credibility of the entire Intelligence Committee.
1994, the Air Force Research Laboratory carried out experiments where scientists used technology to transmit phrases into the heads of human subjects. How? By burying subliminal messages in microwaves and beaming them into a person's head. It seems like a weapon torn from the pages of a comic book. The Air Force denies it's working on one. But patent number 6470214, issued on October 22, 2002, says otherwise. The patent title, 